will do it. Your currency trader and currency crypto reference link. Thank you for joining me once again on our Forex weekend market preview. But I know it's not a weekend. Um, it's during the week, of course. Um, I'm really sorry that I couldn't send my analysis on Sunday like I was supposed to, according to our schedule. I'm deeply sorry about that. But trust me. What I have in store for you will be totally worth it. So, there's a new journey that will be starting an FX link calling our $100 trading account. The reason for this journey is that most people always ask this question. A lot of new traders always ask this question. How do I grow a small account? They feel like it's impossible to grow a small account. And of course, you can't expect to take a $100 account into a five million dollar account and in, in, in a year or two years it's seemingly impossible it's not impossible but it's in that case the odds are against your favor you know if you want to make a lot of money then you have to start trading using a lot of money but started this journey to try and help people on our channel and people who follow us on how to grow how to grow a small account I advise most people to start with a small account as it will help you get through the psychological factors of trading. If you lose a hundred one dollar, it's not as starting into a five thousand dollar account and losing a thousand when them the psychology is kind of different. Losing a lot of money doesn't cost you to like this much. So this will help you um control your psychological issues. I feel like I've been talking too much. So as you can see um for those who know private lessons we have already started this journey with them and give me a minute let me try to account history so this is our account history as you can see um the first trade i won i managed to make four comma six nine dollars and this is i took a buying opportunity at the euro pound um, this was just the bank charges. No, not the bank charges. Pardon me. So used to bank charges. This was the commission for taking a trade, and I've had my second trade on the pound yen, which is in this case I lost one comma fifty seven dollars, and my overall profit for now is three comma eleven. And as you can see, like I said, I started with the hundred dollar account. This is my balance on my account. Where did I check that balance? Oh, there is it. I have one with three coming eleven. So at the already I'm in a pos positive side of my hundred dollar account. We'll take you through the journey on how to grow a small account. So stay in tune for this journey. We'll probably open the official channel on YouTube called our hundred dollar account. So I just wanna give you a heads up on what to expect. But besides the hundred dollar account, today I have something more interesting with you. Instead of just taking you through analysis and leaving you to hang and figure out how to get into everything today, I'm gonna to be I'm gonna actually taking a live trade with you. I'm gonna show my analysis and then show you, and you will see me taking the trade. And we could take the trade if it suits your trading preferences. And yeah, so today we'll be day trading. I won't be going through the daily four hour and hourly just swing trading. But today we will be day trading, meaning when the trade is going to trigger us today, trigger our entry today, and trigger our stop loss or take profit today. As you come to the high time frame, we also want to check the overall direction of the market. Is the market going up, down, or oh, sideways? Now, an overall view of the market, in this case, we'll say that the market is going. In, in a down direction because we haven't been able to violate this highest high. Now, another interesting factor that caught my attention in this case is this over here. If we could, what do you see? Our, our MACD is sloping to the downside. While well, look at price section, this is giving us a move on the upside. Now, this gives us a bearish divergence. A bearish divergence on a high time frame. This is a significant sign. If I get a bearish divergence on a high time frame, it shows that my big boys or people who move my market, in this case, 
are looking at a previous diversion so they will be planning on setting the market anytime it might not be now it might be now but they are they will be planning to sell the market at some point my plan is to hop in by the time they all decide on setting the market once i see that there's something else i see from this a to b now nah, bear with me our meta trader doesn't have those sophisticated tools just like trading view but you get the point from this a to b if i could take this same leg and clone it you can see we have an abcd pattern completion by where price section is currently at and a high time frame we can see that we have a quite a number of and if i could put a line with price section is at and look back what do you see so this is quite a significant level price held bit of an imbalance um again it was a support level wow, i moved it so you can see there price section there that's quite a significant level now switching down to the the, the trading time frame which is the 50 minutes now let me try to grab my tools as we are about to get into things let me pull everything up as you can see already there is another major bearish divergence we got where price section is sloping up make these sloping to the downside now in this case we should have already taken the trade back at this level of structure maybe we got a double top but as you can see we we kind of missed the original place to take this trade so what, what i usually do in this case i take what's called a 126 trade meaning i'll look at from this x to a and i'll take this level you can see press action we're supposed to take the trade at our 618 this is called a 126 after missing an abc after missing a double top pardon me you can try to re-enter the street as soon as price section hits r16 let me just change the color okay ah flip just look at what's happened Price section just hit this level of structure and it's already i really want to run away from it so try to make it a little bit snappy then we would have to put our stop loss just five pips above this highest high and this 44 around 48 um first take profit will have to be back at this retail the structure so you guys have to be a little bit quick because price section is already hit we are always planning to enter the trade so bear with me bear with me bear with me shall remove a couple of these things and for the second take profit we'll have to use okay i'll use one six one eight okay move this i'll try to explain to you everything once i've placed this trade so this is how my trade will this will be my entry stop loss let's just take the trade guys show you that i'll <laughs> this is me taking the trade we'll use zero comma zero one um stop loss will be one two one one two four eight three okay four eight three um take profit will be at triple one and nine double four nine four Let's make it nine for zero okay now we'll be using a pending order and this will be the sell limit at price one one two one one two three fifty Okay, guys, it seems like it might be a little bit too late for trade, and of course, all we risk it 1,39 for total take profit of 3 for 3, 3.50.
dollars and yeah seems like we might be a little bit late like i said i was supposed to take the trade at one six one eight and you might have seen what happened as soon as price section hit that level as soon as price hit our one six one eight it just plummeted and oh fuck it but yeah we'll see how everything turns out so yeah guys just a quick update on our trade um try to zoom in if you remember this is where we left things off we price hit our 1618 and started to run away from us and i was panicking but as i mentioned there's nothing else you can do once you have placed your entry there's nothing more you can do but eventually price action came down really back up and triggered our entry point so now we end the trade and as you can see, we are a bit currently in profit. If you could take a closer look right at this area, this is where you could see we have 37 cents in profit from this trade for now. And yeah, this is where everything is. And again, I will look into at least break, break even as soon as price action violates this level of structure. As soon as we violate this level of structure this is why we're looking to break even and protect my money but yeah guys we're still in the trade um we're in um, we might see a bit of action as soon as the asian session starts because the yen is part of the asian session so i don't know i might wake up we might be stopped out and i might wake up here and profit or we might just wake up and the market's just idling around so until then i tried to update you on how the trade went so yeah